Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to cover the last type of helicopter. Now if you've been following the series, you know I covered regular helicopters, tandem, coaxial, transverse, and now it's time to do the quadcopters. But I have good news for you. If you've been following along, you'll find that this uses the same microcontroller as one of them. And I'll show you that in the video and how to connect the different nodes to the different propellers to make this quadcopter work. Now, it's quite a simple system, and I'm not going to show you how to do a fancy, like, physical build. I'll leave you to the body and stuff. And you can see when we go up, we have a little bit of shaking, and that's obviously because the gyroscope there has the high set all the way, so we'll have to do some adjustments there. But you get all the full motion. You get all the pitch, the roll the yawing, everything. So how do we do it? Well, we'll have to look at those two examples over there to understand. This will be easier for you if you've been following along, and I certainly recommend using the other videos as starting points because you have to understand how to make the different types of helicopters. So we have the transverse helicopter here, and over here we have the tandem style helicopter. So each of them use blades or propellers or rotors in different places in different directions but they all end up with the same type of motion that you can do. So for each of these, both the tandem on the left and the transverse on the right, we went into detail in those videos how to make these microcontrollers. They're fairly simple as you can see, not much to it, but you do have to take a look at those videos to understand fully how we got to that point. Like I said, and in the transverse fixed, we have sort of another sequence. And really, it's just how you take your roll, your pitch, your yaw from the gyroscope and put it into the propeller blades. So you have to understand how all that works in order to understand this. We'll start from scratch here. So this is a basic platform. We're just going to use this. And what we're gonna need are motors to give power to the rotors. So each one of these will get a motor and then we need the propellers. Now, I always recommend using the light rotor end because they're so small. So you can go ahead and put them all on, but we're gonna have to do some rejigging because you see that arrows, when they're in this direction, it will not work. So if we just take a look at an example here, you see on the tandem style helicopter, we have the arrow pointed forward and the positive on the back is to the left if you're facing this way and to the right is positive if you're facing this way. Alternatively, on the transverse, we have positive going out in both directions. Of course, the forward arrows are always the forward arrows. So how do we position these? You are going to want to have the positive going out in both cases. So we hit U and you can see it switches, press paste and merge the bodies in. So now we have the propellers or rotors positive when they're in the outward direction. So we'll need a seat, of course, and we will need a gyroscope, of course. And then we're going to grab the microcontroller that we developed on this helicopter, the fixed transverse style. Now again, a huge shout out to user who pointed out to me that we can build them like this without pivots because that is a key here. And that's all we really need now. The last thing being the lever. And the lever is just going to work to give our motors power. So each one of these four motors have power of course in your own creation you can have engines you can have jet engines you could have whatever you want but we're just doing it like this and i'm not even putting a battery we're running with infinite electric just because we have to prove the concept that's what we're doing here so we have our seat and we're gonna have to make the labels on what each one does well up down is simple it's up down left right is the yaw w and s is the pitch and A and D is the roll. So that's sort of standard roll, pitch, yaw, up, down. And we'll attach this to the gyroscope. First thing we're gonna attach is the auto hover being on whenever we're sitting on the seat in your own helicopter 
I would highly recommend attaching this to a key switch or some other functionality like when the helicopter is on this is on because now if we step off the seat this thing will come crashing down but again for this proof of concept this is fine so let's start W and S is our pitch so we got to go to pitch up down is the collective which is right here AD is our roll and left right is the yaw so that is what is coming out of the seat going to this and then we will attach these numbers so stabilize up down can go directly to the collective nothing else is needed there whereas the stabilized pitch we're going to want to put in here stabilized roll we're going to want to put in here stabilized yaw we're going to put in here and then how do we connect these left roll right roll pitch pitch how do we connect them actually very simple when it says left you attach it to both left rotors so left i believe roll we're just going to put roll and roll on the next one right roll we're just going to put this on the roll same thing with the pitch on the left goes to the pitch on the left pitch on the right goes to pitch on the right and i'll show you this microcontroller this is what we developed in the transverse fixed helicopter video or what i called kind of the easier simpler version of the transverse helicopter but in essence all it is and you could pause here is we have the roll coming out of the gyroscope going to the roll right rotor directly and being inverted with a negative x to the roll left rotor okay that's the first part the second part down here a little more complex but not really we have the pitch and the yaw coming out of the gyroscope we have addition functions and in the case of the pitch we're literally just adding in so it just gets plus and plus goes to the right one on the top and the left one here is on the bottom now for the yaw the left rotor will be directly attached whereas for the right rotor it goes through a negative x function so very very simple and honestly the only difference now from this to make it a quadcopter would be the fact that we relabel this right rotors that's honestly it because now we have two rotors so that is the extent of the microcontroller work everything is plugged in the last thing to prevent shaking when you're trying to put push throttle up you could turn this down we'll see if this helps at all and we'll spawn it in so with this in and obviously with infinite electric in this case we just turn up the throttle lever on these made the first mistake and it is anytime anytime you put rotors you gotta make them neutral and i covered that in other videos and i always forget and this always happens you have to have neutral because the neutral is what turns it on when we do the collective otherwise it's pretty much an aircraft constantly going in the forward direction so take two nothing happens if i press the arrow key up we go up if i press w then we pitch forward if i push s pitch back ad are to roll and left right on the arrow keys we're gonna get yawing now you can see we're still shaking when we go up and truth be told i mean this is a super oversimplification this whole thing is for sure too light um, you do have to put some weight to your creations otherwise the game physics just are not really optimized for working with such things also with a quadcopter you really have to do your best to put most of the weight in the center otherwise you're going to end up with instances where the helicopter is not very happy with you and it'll try to buck underneath you but now with this extra added weight if we can take off you do have to be careful before blindly setting it to three to one because you may end up with an instance where it's too powerful and uncontrollable like this where it just cannot be tamed so you kind of just can't put it three to one so in this case where we have it one to one 
for this lightweight of a creation, it actually works. But keep in mind that this is just a proof of concept. This isn't how to build a full-on quadcopter with all the details. You have to fine-tune it. You're going to have to adjust that gyroscope and whatever. But I did show you how to get all the different types of motion out of your propellers. The rest and fine-tuning, altitude hold, all that good stuff is on you. But I do want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this series of kind of looking into the different types of aircrafts and helicopters and such. Um, and of course, I want to thank all of you for being here, supporting the channel, commenting, liking, subscribing, joining the community, joining my Discord server, all that stuff. I really appreciate it, and it's a huge part of why I do this. Of course, a huge extra thank you to all of the supporters, the YouTube channel members, and the Discord server boosters. Their added support truly helps push these projects forward. I really do get inspired by seeing that extra bit of effort coming from certain people, so I really appreciate that, and I'm glad to have you all along for me, along with me for the journey. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and until next time, happy stormworksing, everyone.